This iPhone 14 Plus won't charge when it's on, but weirdly, it charges when it's off. After falling into a pool, something inside is blocking the charging process. Let's take a closer look under the microscope and find out what's really going on. We started by checking the battery connector under a microscope and found corrosion. We cleaned the area with a brush and alcohol, and then tested the battery connector pins using a multimeter in diode mode. All readings were correct except for pin 4, which displayed OL instead of 0.548. Pin 4 transmits battery data to the motherboard, including serial number, battery health status. If this data line is missing, the phone won't charge when powered on because it can't recognize the battery's serial number. Using schematic software, we traced the line to a test point on the board. Upon inspection, we discovered that corrosion had created a bridge between this test point and another line that carries 5 volts for the touchscreen. We cleaned the corrosion with alcohol. Testing the test point with a multimeter showed the same OL reading, confirming the line was burned due to exposure to 5 volts instead of 1.8 volts. The line originates from the U4000IC and passes through a resistor before reaching the battery connector. The metal shield covering the IC made direct access tricky. Instead of using a heat gun, which could damage nearby components, we cut the shield using a Dremel. However, upon physical inspection, the resistor was missing, possibly an error in the schematic software, but the trace was there. We tested the trace in diode mode, and the line was still active. To restore the connection, we soldered a jumper wire from the trace to pin 4 on the motherboard. To secure the wire and prevent movement, we applied a UV mask and used a UV lamp to cure it. Want to master the art of micro-soldering and board level repair? At Cell Phone Repair Academy, we'll teach you how to fix no power devices, charge ports, and even recover data like a pro. Learn the skills that repair shops outsource, become the expert they rely on. We then tested pin 41 last time, and it now gives the correct reading. After reassembling the device and plugging in the charger, the iPhone is now charging properly. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more repair content.